What is up YouTube? And we have a brand new update here on ASCD with these two new really good seven stars. And what I wanted to see is how far they'd be able to get an infinite together. So I brought up this loadout with them and then some support units. And then you could also probably swap Brook for Kisuke if you wanted his FV ability, but Brook is just easier to set up an auto buff with and I didn't want to have to go back and forth between using time stop and that. So I just thought I'd bring this loadout. And I can also showcase Stark or how far any of those units could get. So if you guys want to see that, just go ahead and feel free to leave that in the comments because I got basically all the new units from the update, as you can see. So yeah, we're going to hop in infinite and see how far we can get. All right, so here we are in game and we're going to pick normal. Although these guys could get far and extreme, we're trying to put it to the absolute limit. We just want to see how far they'd be able to get in general. And what you will see is that Obviously, these guys cost a lot of money, so early defense might be a problem, but luckily we do have Jotaro for that, so... Yeah, and Jotaro is not going to be doing that much damage when you max him out anyway, so... He's not going to be affecting the, the damage results too much. And I also want to see how much damage we're going to get since, you know, the new damage task came out, but I already completed it from grinding for these two, so... It'd be cool to see if we could get a trillion or more with these guys. I think we, we probably could, because they do do insane damage. So, there's that way. We're going to put a Jotaro down, just get some defense. And you could maybe swap this orb from Jotaro to here, but I just like the super uh, blue eye orb on Jotaro, just to have that really big time stop. If you have Merlin equipped, it could actually be a map wide time stop, so yeah, it is really good. And yeah, I'll go ahead and cut until some interesting happens. Alright, so here's where I sort of decided to set everything up. We got our eight Jotaros here, and the reason I put a gap in between them is because if you do your cycling correctly, you only actually need four Jotaros to do a permanent time stop that's up all the time so yeah i just like having it you know split like that so i can just focus on these four jotros but just still have these down in case i were to mess up the time stop or anything just to have those down is nice and categories will probably go around here and then if any cloner or something gets past we could always resell one and i'm thinking we just put like boros and kirito right here right in the center of the map maybe we'll be above here so we can hit our categories and all of our defenses as well so yeah so here we are on wave 18, about to hit 19, and we are about to max out our speed wagon on a wave 19, which is a little late, but I think with the help of the uni cost orb and then the, the uni magic orb as well, we should be fine. So hopefully we're going to be able to afford both these two, because while they are good, they do cost a lot. So, I mean, maybe it would be worth it to bring eyes instead of brook, but I just think that range buff is going to help out a lot. So let's just get these categories down real quick, and I think I'm just going to put all eight down, and then if anything sneaks past, I'll just resell one because it really won't be that big of a problem. Because later waves, I'm probably going to be doing 1x anyway, just to make sure my time stops are on point. So let's get these categories, and you're already building up a pretty big sum of money, honestly, so I really don't think money's going to be a problem, but again, these guys do cost a lot, so only time is really going to be able to tell. And I think Boros will be doing more damage anyway. That's why I put him on leader slot, but I'm not sure which is good, because Kirito doesn't do nearly as much damage regularly, but his crit mechanic might actually be enough so you can sell both of these guys just so you know so don't worry if you mess up placements or anything but yeah we have got to put our brooks down and set up this auto buff real quick and again you could do kisuke if you were if you were playing with other players of course you could bring i and then have someone bring merlin for the optimal buff is i plus merlin because the range buff is a lot better than brook or kisuke's but i mean it's up to you really if you're doing solo then i think brook is nice to just sit back set up the auto buff and relax because Kiske you can't really auto buff with because of the way multiple abilities work in this game. So yeah, we're going to set up Burke buff and I'll start to show you guys when I start maxing these units out. Alright, we're about wave 35, you know, about to get this hybrid upgrade and Kirito's here. So honestly, with how much these guys are trying to cost, it is getting a little finicky because we're only getting this much per wave. So might have to throw an eye on revise the loadout, but if you guys are seeing this, that means I didn't revise the loadout. So that's pretty cool. And also, if you're wondering what this blessing combo is, uh, it's Beerus from the Android Raid, and then it's Boros. So you do Beerus first and then Boros, and this is what you get. I do think it looks really cool. So yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys when one of these guys are maxed out. All right, so we're about wave 75. Uh, still one more upgrade. We're getting close, though. Oh, almost 15, 16 billion damage already. We're getting tons of things every hit, because Katakuri is not doing enough damage to kill him anymore. So yeah, as soon as Boros hits, they just... Because, yeah, he's doing insane damage still. And have they even gotten Kirito range yet? Oh, they have for a bit, but yeah. Kirito isn't really doing as much damage quite yet. I don't know if he starts doing critical hits right now or if you have to max him out for him to start doing that, but yeah. As soon as we get this, Boros' damage is going to go even more insane than it already was. And we're about a million or so away, should hit it around the late 80s, it's looking like. But 
yeah, we're gonna see if we can get him up because the one thing I am worried about is cost because these guys are starting to cost a lot. And you know, while Speedwagon and I are good, it would be nice to see you know a new money unit come in now that some of these guys are starting to have insane costs. So yeah, seeing a new money unit would be nice. But Speedwagon and I are still holding up. But you know, if people get more expensive like the way Boros and Kirito and all them are, and Guts even as well are doing. You know, things might be a little shaky. So hopefully, you get a new money unit soon. A money seven star would be absolutely insane. So yeah, so I cut until we match this Boros out. So it looks like things are going to happen a bit sooner than I expected, because yeah, we're only on 84, not late 80s, but yeah, there it is, and we've got the Max Boros doing absolutely insane damage. I'm tempted to turn on attack effects, but it's probably going to lag me, and you have to cycle through a lot of attack effects now, but let's do it. Ooh, alright. It is clean, but it, it is not very, you know, good for your FPS. And look at that, almost 30, like, just shy of 30 million DPS. Yeah, Boros is doing insane damage, and now at this point we're just upgrading Kirito, so, you know, now that they're starting to get decent amounts of HP, I don't think we're going to cut, we just might speed up footage or anything, but yeah. My, again, my problem is cost, and it makes me wonder too if, since these guys are only like Circle AoE and Cone AoE, if maybe even Guts would just be better than these two combined, if it's that bad, but I'm hoping not, but yeah, because Guts can solo can get you like super far with this team, so yeah. I could do a video where I showcase like all the meta infinite 7 stars and see how far I get each of them and declare the winner of uh, damaging 7 stars and all star. That'd be a pretty fun video, so if you guys want to see that, make sure to comment below. And it looks like, yeah, we're going into 90 here, still haven't got this upgrade. I think we're going to start time stopping at this point because things are getting pretty fast. I don't think we have to 1x quite yet, but yeah, some time stops would definitely help out. There's a corner here, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think, yeah, he popped along before he got out of um, Category's range. So, a couple more ways to get this Kirito upgrade. And, yeah, I'm so glad Jotaro's in the game because with Gojo, like, his time stop range is nowhere near map-wide, so you had to keep reselling. But with Jotaro and how, how uh, fast his cooldown is, too, for his time stop, you can just cycle four easily like this and just time stop almost everything on the map. And if you have Merlin, it is everything on the map. So, yeah, Jotaro is insane. If you guys are wondering what to go for for prestige, I'd probably go on power. But the orb is also really nice. I'd probably get the orb first and then start going for power. Riches isn't really worth it because if you're at the level where you can easily prestige, you're kind of you know not in the need for all that stardust and gems and all that. But I mean, if you're really down bad for it, I guess you could. But for the most part, you want to get these really OP units and this orb, which helps out a lot. So I'd recommend going for those. And it's look like looking like we get this Kirito upgrade here. And man, these just don't stop getting expensive. So yeah, my worry is if we'll even be able to max out Kirito here, which would be sad if we didn't, but oh well. Again, I'm, and they also added back the TS indicator. It was bugged for an update, so I'm glad that that's back because it, it, it helps out time stopping a lot because all you gotta just see is wait for the indicator to be gone and just click. So yeah, Jojo is really nice to have. And here we are, almost hit 100 up to almost 200 billion damage yeah if you guys want to max out the new damage task these guys are certainly monsters for that if you don't already have stuff like guts or uh like even gilgamesh like there's a lot of good uh damage grinders but yeah we also have stark too stark's pretty interesting the fire orb actually works on him which i don't know if that's a, a bug or what but yeah he's basically gilgamesh with much better stats and the fire orb actually works on him so we'll have to see if he's good i think we're going to switch to these jokeros because they're starting to get to this area now and again, what is worrying me is cost. Like, these guys are getting really far, and we're nowhere close to Max and Kirito, so... It is a little scary, but I think we'll be able to do it in time. Yeah, here we are on wave 100, about to be. And, ooh, there is a cloner, so I'm gonna have to get ready to resell that. And I think we'll flip things to 1x now, just throw it, slow it down a bit. Make sure our time stops are completely on point. Yeah, this upgrade isn't coming for a while. I wonder if Kirito's getting crits off now. Okay, here's the cloner. Max this out. Ooh, which Jotaro did I use last? I forget. Uh oh. It wasn't you. It was you. Okay. Uh, let me go to this one. And the reason I put him here instead of in here is because the way it was going was like, for some reason, his hitbox was glitching with my Jotaro's back here. I don't know what was causing that, but it is a pretty weird glitch. And here we are on wave 100. So these guys are already able to get that far, which isn't really much of a surprise. Most DPS units can make it that far nowadays. There's that time stop. And yeah, this is this is a big thing of why I like using Brook because auto buffing is really handy when you have to time stop as well. 
But if you are doing something like a duo, it would definitely be better to bring Kisuke because, you know, FV ability is really handy. It can almost guarantee you get another wave or two if you combo it with time stop and if you're able to kill the units in time. So it's, it is very handy to have. And also, I gives money. So, yeah, basically, Brook sucks for any competitive infinite, but if you're just doing casual and you just want to be able to auto buff and have range, because I can't auto buff, but she does do the range buff. And that's what a lot of 7 stars suffer from is the range is good, but not quite good enough to be map wide on most uh, infinite maps. So it is a little unfortunate, but. Oh, looks like I time stopped a bit too early there. That's why we have multiple Jotros. And we are missing a bit here, but I don't think that's going to matter too much. And yeah, these guys are not letting up. They're getting really far on the track. And yeah, we are not close to maxing out Kirito, so it's not looking too good. I think I probably should have put Uni Orb on Boros instead since he costs so much more, but that is, remains to be seen, I guess. And there's a corner here, so I need to be ready for him. I think the biggest problem with these guys compared to Guts is that they're not full AoE. That makes a huge difference, on top of the rupture damage being insane on Guts as well. And yeah, so I don't know if these these guys are obviously going to be meta for things like air because Guts doesn't quite hit air. And I think Boros definitely does, but I'm not sure if Kirito does. He's not hitting air yet. He might when you max him out. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the one thing Guts doesn't do is hit air. So he's complete meta for regular infinite. Does insane damage with rupture, but. Not quite hitting airs, unfortunately, so for solo leaderboards and for air leaderboards, he's not your man. I think... Well, yeah, I don't know. It, it is not looking good for being able to max out Kirito here. And plus, I haven't even got any of my Jotaros to, to Dio upgrade yet, just because I'm trying to focus on, you know, trying to get this Kirito out. And we need two more waves for it. Yeah, it's not looking too good, man. But Boros is doing insane damage, so... Maybe he'll be able to knock these guys out in time. Let's see how his AoE is performing around here. Yeah, he hits this entire lip, so... Gotta get ready to go, so kind of carry. I wish I tried to use last. Not you, uh... Not you either. Oh god. Okay, well that was a, a sell on my part. I guess we'll just have to... I think we put more, one more time stop, yeah. Alright, there's a time stop. This corner's about to pop, so we need to be ready for this video. Immediately. We could try and sell on Max Kirito, but I don't think it makes much of a difference at this point. There's Dio. And there are probably are some things I'm doing wrong, like I could probably manipulate auto skip and things like that. There's that wave skip. Uh, where's the one of the Jotro? Let's see if we can sell you and get the Kirito upgrade. We did get the upgrade, but it's not quite max. Yeah, and 5 mil, yeah, there's just no way we were, we were going to be able to get it, but we did get really close, but not quite there, unfortunately. So. Yeah, Boros, Kirito doing as much damage as they can, but limited by that insane cost, yeah. So, if you want to use both of these guys at once, you definitely want to bring something like I or Octo or anybody who can give you more money than just Speedwagon alone. Uh, but that's if you want to use both. If you only want to use one, you, you're absolutely fine, but both is not quite doable. Can we get one more time stop? Oh, we just barely got that. Wave 107 right on time. Unless Boros hits here. Looks like we're... Yeah, there it is. Only wave 107, which, I mean, is really good, but, you know, for these guys, I was expecting a little bit better, so, yeah, they definitely don't shine in solo infinite, but for, um, things like duo infinite or any, any amount of infinite that's not one player, where you can actually afford to max both of them, these guys are insane, so yeah, that's how far you can get with the new 7 stars in all-star.